Welcome back everyone. We're in the Giants Editor today and I'm joined on the last episode we did the Debris Crusher. Uh, we added it to this mod map that we created and showed you how to do the XML and all the stuff to make it work. But I did forget to say one thing at the end because I was trying to hurry so I could make sure I could upload the video and I forgot to tell you to delete it. And the only reason you needed to delete this debris crusher is because you already put it in the XML. And since it's not in a placeholders folder, you would need to delete it by clicking on it and clicking delete and then click save so that you only have one of these in the game. Otherwise, you're going to have the XML one in the game and this one in the game. And the only reason when we were in game, you couldn't tell it was because it you know they're in each other so you couldn't really see it now you can notice it if you were to make say the like on the video I did for 19 FS 19 uh, I did a storage shed that had doors that open and when you don't delete this the uh, one in this scene graph and you have the one in the XML then you open one door and then you see there's another building there and you see the second set of doors so you could never get in so the reason you need to delete this is because it's not in a placeholders. Now, I'm going to teach you about placeholders in this video, which is kind of good because, but I'd rather said that in the other video. I'll probably take that video down when I get internet and r fix it and re-upload it just to make sure everybody knows to delete it. Once you're finished with everything you did in that video, do all of what you did in that video. So if you watched that video and did it, all you need to do now, after you did all that, is come in here, click on the debris crusher, delete it and click save and you're good don't change anything else don't move it don't do anything and that finalizes everything but in this video we're going to talk about placeholders and the placeholders folder and just basically how we could keep this pick this uh debris crusher in the game and in the map rather and in the game without having to take it out of the map so if I deleted this right now which I'll do because I can undo it but I'm gonna delete it and pretend we save it I'm not gonna save it boom now I don't see it anymore but say I needed to do more work around it and I'm like how am I gonna do that I can't see it because I had to delete it well in this case we're gonna undo and what you can do if you want to keep it in here but not have two showing up in the game you need to make a placeholders folder. So basically when you make a placeholders folder and you put the script callback the command for it, it will let it show up in the game by the XML and it'll it'll it being in the placeholders folder will not let this one show up in the game, the one that's in the scene graph. So this one here won't show up in the game, the XML only will. And the reason for that is the placeholders folder blocks this one from being read into the to the game so but what it'll do is it'll keep this one where we can see it because we have it in placeholders folder so now we don't have to delete this one from the map so we'll be able to still see and paint around it and do whatever we want to do or we'll just just say we would like it in the get in the map uh, and we, I mean in the editor and we want to be able to see it so basically I'm going to show you how to put it in a placeholders folder on this video but on the last video if you watched the last video I did of the debris crusher how to get all that working and all that XML stuff you need to go back in your map that you put it in and delete the debris crusher and hit save or or put it in a placeholders folder so that's your option you can do either or whichever you like but if you delete it it won't be in here but it will be in the game so it'll it'll be proper so but now what we're going to do is go ahead and create us a placeholders folder and so what I'm going to do is you're going to come up here and make a transform group under create so click create transform group we're going to come over here to the attributes box in the name box and title it placeholders but first if you don't have that click on window and attributes and that'll get you this box and any of these here that you see that I have terrain editing user attributes material editing custom I mean that goes with material editing but anyway attributes all that you get it here so we'll go ahead and close that and we'll go ahead and come to the attributes box while that's highlighted and we can just you can do lower case uh, well we gotta highlight it there we go you can do lowercase on this one place holders make sure I spelled it right with an S alright so that does that then it pops up over in the scene graph and now you have that so now with that highlighted 
come down to user attributes For some reason the name didn't let me click off of it and see there we go now it updated did you see that while ago it said name transform whatever it said and it, it just you click back off and click back on to get it to update this name here all right so now you're gonna click in the user attributes area you're gonna click on script callback okay then you're gonna in this name box you're gonna type lowercase o n excuse me o n capital C lowercase r e a t e on create you make sure it's a script callback on the type and click add now once you do that you're gonna click in this box here and I'm gonna tell you what to type but if you had another map that has a placeholders folder you can get it from there and copy and paste it and put it in here but if you don't have a map you just need to know what to type so in this case capital P L place P -L -A, uh, lowercase on the rest of it um, holders and then dot O N lowercase capital C lowercase R E A T E dot on create placeholders dot on create and then just click click up here you're good to go so now all we gotta do is take our debris crusher and you could there's several ways you can do it but I'm gonna show you how to do it with your mouse click on edit click cut and then click on placeholders click on edit and click paste it's gonna put it in here okay so now what you're gonna do is save it and then you're gonna go in the game and you're gonna see you still have it here and then you'll have it in there but the problem is you wouldn't have been able to see that when I deleted it when it wasn't in the placeholders folder that it would still be in game and I could show you that after this but I'll go on in game and show you that this is that's still in the game now it's in the placeholders folder and we can still keep it in here and we won't have but one in the game okay so that'll keep you from having errors and stuff uh, by doing that if, if you don't want to just delete it okay so let's go in here real quickly hope everybody's having a wonderful day I appreciate all the new subscribers welcome to the channel hope you're learning something about this uh, map making stuff and I'll be doing my other videos as soon as possible uh, as soon as I get internet I'll be doing the ranch sim and all that stuff again so we're gonna go ahead and click on here we're gonna find the map and see it should be this one continue I'll just unselect all that deselect it and hit start but anyway appreciate everybody appreciate that we hit over 500 subscribers now we're well on our way to a thousand and I sure thank you appreciate every single person if, if you're new to the channel go back in my playlist check out the videos there's lots and lots of simulator uh, videos that I've done and there's uh, a lot of map making uh, tutorial stuff on farming sim 19 and 22 and I uh, hope you enjoy and lots of different things I'm gonna try to be doing a lot more of it uh, getting going I have a map that I'm gonna be working on trying to get some things caught up and done so right now I don't have internet so I'm using a hotspot on a phone that I have uh, borrow that to upload the video so I can't upload this every single day like I normally do so just stay tuned and I will be back up and running as soon as I can but we're gonna jump in this game go ahead and confirm it and then we're gonna hit uh, escape and we're gonna drag over to where the debris crusher is and as you can see it's there we'll click visit and here we go here it is it's still in here but now it's gonna, gonna only be the one from the XML okay not the i3d one but if uh, if this would have been a building with doors it would have been two in each other if I hadn't put it in that placeholder folder and then you open the one door and then you see another door and you can tell there's two buildings and then you click on the other and then the other the first door shuts again because you can't can't open the second door so that's what you needed to do either delete the one if you don't have it in a place folder and then save it placeholder folder and save it and then it'll just call it XML and you'll be fine or put it in placeholders folder and it'll be in game and it'll also stay in the map where you can actually see it to work around it now we're going to go back and delete it take it out of the placeholders folder and delete it and then you'll see that it's not going to be in the map but it'll be still in the game by the XML so we're going to go ahead and get out of this 
and go and do this and as soon as we get there we will take it out of this we're gonna make sure it's highlighted edit cut we're gonna click below and edit paste put it out of there we technically don't even have to delete the placeholders folder we're just gonna delete this like I told you to do before if you don't have the placeholders then you're gonna hit save and now it's not in here it's not it's no longer in the map in the uh, editor and we're gonna go back in the game and we'll see that it's still in the game so let's do that and that's just pretty much the basic explanation of the placeholders so if you, you do that with any of those things that you need that pretty much the things that are going to need to work mostly you can do it with pretty much anything but that's what you want to do it with stuff you're going to be actually using like that those kind of things that you have to do an XML with basically if you have to do an XML with it that would be what would go in the placeholders folder so we're going to go in and then it will go to the debris crusher and it will be there and it'll be reading it from the XML and I'm sorry I didn't put it in the other video I thought I did I I don't even really I was in a hurry to get it ready so I could upload it and keep it short and I didn't even tell that part and I forgot but there you go this one's being read by the XML and it's still in here and the other one is not in the editor anymore so but anyway I hope you enjoyed and if and like I say all you need to know is how to type that in you don't have to you know have another map I told you what to type just type it exactly like I did make sure you put it as a call script callback and you're good to go you gotta type on create in first put script callback hit add then put the placeholders in the box where it says on create and dot XML uh, dot on create placeholders dot on create capital P and you're good to go but anyway I hope everybody enjoyed I know it's just a short video but I'm trying to keep it kind of short so I can upload it with this hotspot but anyway I'll be back as soon as possible I'm trying to work out the internet situation I don't know how long it'll be I'm doing the best I can hopefully it'll be sooner than later and I'm not quitting so stay tuned please continue to watch the video share the video watch the old playlist keep my hours up if you wish I thank everybody who has thank everybody for subscribing and I'm gonna catch you on the next one and I'll see you later goodbye everybody